Good Friday morning, Mana Gatherers. I am once again down in classroom F-115 at the church. Uh, Obi's still fighting hand, foot, and mouth, but we are here and I am thankful. We talked about thankfulness yesterday as it related to 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 19, and I have a lot to be thankful for, including a space to come um, and let Obi roam as I work. So we are back on this Friday, as I said, with 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 19, and I again today will be reading from the NIV translation of these verses. I really liked the um, translation in the NIV. Um, for these verses. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to pit their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. So, I have had a bit of pushback on my tendency to believe even more so in humanity's original blessedness, original goodness, over that doctrine of original sin. Someone pointed out to me that just as I pointed to science to prove that we are all hardwired to be givers, Darwin used science to show that we are wired to be creatures of survival of the fittest, valuing, therefore, our own lives over others, taking care of me, myself, and I before I concern myself with those over there, the other. I didn't say I don't believe in original sin. I am human, so I know our nature is also prone to wander, as that song says, that hymn. And I also do have young kids, so even from a very young age, I see our bent toward sinning every time one of them says, as the middle child said this to me this morning, I don't like to share, and I don't want to, and I won't. Or, as my oldest said to me this morning also, that's not fair. I want to do it my way. He always gets to have it his way. Or even that one back there, Obi, I'll say no, and he looks right at me and keeps on doing what he's doing. So I know there's a little bit of original sin in us as we enter this world. But even so, I believe we are more good than we are sinful. We spend, yes, our lives pursuing that image of God that is hardwired in us to be good, that is hardwired to be compassionate, generous, selfless givers. Science proves this today through many ways, and I used on Sunday an example of neuroscience, using the image of the brain that lights up when we um, give, that we are hardwired to give because it makes us happier. But even Darwin way back then observed this in nature. In Darwin's Descent of Man, he talks about giving or benevolence, he uses that word, 99 times existing in the natural world. And he tells uh, the story of observing pelicans when a pelican generously provides a blind pelican with a fish even before this seen pelican fished for himself. This pelican made sure that the blind pelican was taken care of first. Our instincts to give and to take care of one another is far greater than our instinct to secure our own survival. But I would say that these two um, instincts are constantly in battle, vying for the top spot of who we are. So we must be intentional about nurturing our giving nature instead of feeding into our more selfish nature. And yes, that doesn't always just come naturally. In the beginning, it might take effort and work and yes, intentionality, but nurturing our giving nature over time, over years and years, makes that nature become, well, second nature, natural. A return to this image that we were originally created in from birth. The image of our good and generous God. What are you doing? This is my question I'm going to leave you with today. What are you doing to nurture that generous nature? 
so that it becomes second nature. Think about that, and I will see you tomorrow on Saturday.